Ooh, buddy, don't tell me we're right above it this time. No, 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 that's gonna be a hit! That is a hit! Oh, make it over him, Bob, make it over him. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that is, oh no! Oh, this is like a slideshow. Oh, it's coming through the other side of the building. That's insane. That is insane looking. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys hey, another episode of Brick Rigs. And today we are back. And Bob is back. And uh, Bob's a little bit distracted right now. Just uh, give him some time. Because the city has finally built him a new HQ. Yeah, if you recall last episode, they provided him with a portable toilet. He felt a little underappreciated. And once again, he saved the city. So they finally, finally gave him something. Now, ideally, he would have loved it to be in the city, but they insisted that it's out here by the airport. I don't know why, but it doesn't matter. He's got his new HQ. He's super proud of it. And we're here for the opening ceremonies for this. So yeah, today we're going to be checking out some really cool creations. I have one creation that is probably the biggest thing that I have ever spawned in Brick Rigs, or at least one of the biggest things. Uh, so yeah, we got some exciting stuff coming up here. And if you're enjoying Brick Rigs on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button and let's jump right into this. So as you can see, all the other Bobs have joined Bob. Uh, he's going to come in here and I, I know the, the office is a bit empty right now. I mean, he's, it's understandable. It's a new building, so we're going to fill it up with tons of good stuff. What's that sound? Uh, okay, but anyways, uh, so yeah, there is tons of room here, tons of opportunities. Like, Bob wants to have like one floor dedicated to like a pool, that way he can go swim. You know, what the heck is that noise? So this behemoth is called the Devourer of Gods. It's from Terraria, or at least a mod in it. And it's made by Veros, and this thing is 8,500 bricks. This thing is equipped with guns, it is absolutely devastating, and it's absolutely huge. This thing is a true monster, and I have a feeling this thing is coming after Bob. Uh-oh, this is not going to be good. Oh no, here it comes. Here comes the big monster. Oh, <laughs> this is going to be bad. Poor Bob's HQ. Here we go. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Uh-oh, 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 this, this is about to get bad. What the heck? Whoa! <laughs> it's still coming! Oh, I don't know if I can do this in full speed. Jeez! Uh-oh, uh-oh, okay, let's, we're gonna try it. Full speed? Oh, boy. Bob's HQ is, uh... It's a bit on the torn up side. Oddly enough, it would seem that the monster is actually okay. Uh, Bob's not going to be too happy about this. Let's go down to a live Bob reaction. So here comes the monster once again, but this monster is also equipped with a weapon. So let's go ahead. Uh, it's going to be bad. Let's fire it off. Oh, no. Oh, it destroys everything. It fires all the way around itself. Uh, see if we can get another hit here. We're gonna run into the building once again. Jeez, Bob's HQ. Wait, are we going in it now? Uh, we're gonna set this off inside the HQ. Come on, waiting for another shot. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, whoa. <laughs> okay, Brick Riggs, uh, it's gonna be okay. I understand my CPU is probably screaming right now. Oh, can we make it through to the other side? I can hardly see here. Oh. <gasps> I think we're pushing through to the other side. If we do one more well-placed shot, let me go ahead and see if I can light it up one more time here. There it goes. Oh, uh-oh. How we haven't crashed brick rigs right now, I don't know. Actually, is this gonna be the front of the monster? Let's see which side it comes out. Actually, I think it's coming out right over here. Oh, this is like a slideshow. Oh, it's coming through the other side of the building. That's insane. That is insane looking. Oh, geez. Okay, hold on. Let's uh, see if we can pilot this thing out real quick and get it going up this is so cool if you're uh, if your computer can handle something like this I strongly suggest trying this out okay uh, let's go ahead we're gonna pull up here let's go look at the HQ real quick oh geez oh uh, we actually hit buildings in the city with some of the uh, some of the shot oh the Bob's HQ has seen better days it's got a hole through it now uh, Bob's not too happy about this now question is 
Where does a monster like this come from? Where does a being like this come from? This thing is too extreme for Bob. Oh, look at that. It's actually slithering. That is so cool. Yeah, I have a feeling uh, it's, it seems like it's going away, but this is probably not the last time we've seen this creation. I think it's going to come back. So as you can imagine right now, Bob is not too enthused by uh, what just took place. Bob finally gets his HQ, and then a, a warm alien monster comes and takes it out. What the heck? Oh, I think it's about to land on this. Uh, is it going to land on... Uh, really? Is this going to be insult to injury? Really? It's only just blown up. Oh, dear. Uh, at least it didn't hurt it that much more. Oh, the whole building's crumbling. Uh, it's on fire. Bob's penthouse. Bob's HQ. What the heck? This seems completely unnecessary. Bob cannot catch a break. Oh, dear. What the heck is that? Really? The, the city's really going to sound the sirens now? Like, uh, the attack already happened, or actually... Uh, what is, what's going on over at the city? So it would appear like the giant worm thingy was from outer space because now a bunch of UFOs have shown up here in the city. And it's going to be up to Bob and the Brick Riggs forces to get to the skies and take them out. So we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of an assembly here at the airport. All right, so Pilot Bob is ready to go here. We're in an F-18. This is by ECA-001. This thing's got a ton of cool features. Uh, we need to get to the skies, though, and try to take out the alien threat here. All right, here we go. Oh, we're going to take off a little sideways here. Oh, this thing lifts immediately. Nice. All right, so hopefully Pilot Bob here. We're going to take a big swoop around the city. I'm going to try to try to get used to how this flies. This is actually a... Ooh, this is pretty reactive. Wow. Okay. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of adjusting here. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and show the aliens who are, who's boss. Let's go ahead and just kind of do a little flyby. Maybe a little bit of intimidation. All right, Pilot Bob's going in for a swoop here on one of the alien crafts. Oh, well, that seems to be pretty ineffective. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, that was, uh oh, uh, oh, really, already? Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, did, did we at least take it, oh, we did. Oh, that was pretty cool, actually. Oh, we got one of the alien crafts going down. Uh, but there's still too many to go here. Uh, we're gonna need to get another F-18. I did not expect to crash into it that quick. Oh, you can see the shell coming off. Uh oh, wait, wait, are we gonna get two for one? Oh, uh, I thought it was gonna fly over and maybe hit this one, too. All right, speed that up. Uh-oh, 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 oh, oh, okay, we're good, we're good. No buildings have been damaged yet. One alien UFO is down. Oh, it's burning. Where's the other piece of the jet? Okay, we're good, we're good. I need to figure out how to use the rockets because that, that jet does have some sort of rocket system because I don't think the regular machine gun's going to do much to these UFOs. All right, we're coming in at an angle here. Now, I've got a couple rockets here. Let's go ahead and fire these off and see how these things work. Oh, is that, that's actually, that looks pretty close. Oh, we might actually hit one of the UFOs with a rock. Oh, we might hit a building. Hold on, hold on. Are we actually going to get this? Oh, come on. Oh, he just missed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm pretty sure the city, they evacuated in time. Bob just missed with his rockets and, oh. Oh, we're good, we're good. Oh, don't fall down. Okay, don't fall down. Okay. All right, uh, let's, uh, let's give that another attempt here. We'll swing around. This is actually a really nifty craft here. All right, let's go ahead and make a turn. All right, we're looking to be right on target here. I'm going to wait for uh, the last moment here. Fire. <gasps> Ooh, buddy. Ooh, buddy. Don't tell me we're right above it this time. No, 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 no. That's going to be a hit. That is a hit. Oh, make it over him, Bob. Make it over him. Oh, <laughs> that is. Oh, no. Oh, I thought Bob was going to clear it. Oh, it blew the back end of the jet off. Hold on. Hold on, let's take a look. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a direct hit on the UFO. That one's going down. Okay, now, Bob. Let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can save Bob here. Come on, lift up, pull up, pull up. <gasps> We're gliding. Okay, we need to see if we can actually make an emergency landing here. I know some of these crafts come with ejection seats. I don't know if this one... I don't know if we can eject Bob here, but let's see if we can save Bob. Okay, come on, just let it down. Let it down. Come on, come on. We'll have one more fighter jet after this. Uh, we might have to get some of the ground forces out here in a second. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Wow, we actually landed that. That was actually, uh, that's pretty surprising. All right, let's go check the uh, the damage real quick. So we did hit a UFO. Where did it end up landing? Oh, there it is. It's in the streets. 
Ah, good. So we got two down. We got that one, and then we have the other one. Uh, where'd it go? It's around here somewhere. Who swore there's one on fire? Oh, there it is. It's over here. Oh, that one's burnt to a crisp. All right. There is three more UFOs in the sky that we need to take out real quick. Let's go get some, uh, let's go get some more rockets. All right, we're coming in for another pass here. I can see one in my sights. Let's go ahead, release rockets. There they go. Uh-oh. What happened? Oh, did they actually release? Okay, they did release. I thought they actually exploded or came apart. Let's see. How accurate is Bob? It's been pretty good so far. Oh, that one's going to be low. That's going to be a low shot. Come on, hit the streets. Hit the streets. Don't hit the buildings. Don't take out the buildings. No. 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 Okay. Uh oh. Oops. It's okay. Bob's got this. Bob, Bob knows what he's doing. All right. One more. All right. Here we go. We're going to wait to the last moment here and we're going to release rockets now. Pull up. Uh oh. Come on. Come on, you can do it, Bob. Let's pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh, rockets missed. No. No, we're going to land right on it. Oh. oh, look, the canopy just came open. All right, so I would say we, we were able to hit one, like, in a legit manner. Everything else has been pretty much, we've, I think we've crashed into pretty much all the other ones. But Bob had a couple good attempts at the missiles there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Poor Bob. Bob is just riding in the cockpit here. Okay, let's see if uh, see if we can pull out of this one. Oh, we're on fire here. Uh-oh, Bob, you're going to need to jump out, Bob. Jump out. Just jump out. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey, we made it. We made it. We made it. Uh, we, we actually successfully made it. Uh, there's still some UFOs up in the uh, up in the city, though. So uh, Bob's going to go get over to the airport, and we're going to have to assemble the Brick Rigs ground forces. All right, so we have a Type 16 ballistic missile here. So we're gonna oh watch out! <laughs> oh, Bob coming! Oh no! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> so yeah, the uh, the brick rigs uh, forces have assembled. Uh, we're gonna try to get close to the city here now. As far as the author of this vehicle, uh, the name is in Chinese, so I cannot actually read it. But uh, it is rising on the workshop, so you should be able to see it. Uh, I'll try to link it down in the description. Now let's go ahead. We need to get under the UFOs here. There's two left. In the city, and I'm kind of curious. This is uh, this thing is loaded down with uh, explosives. Kind of curious, though, how accurate is it? So, that is probably fairly lined up here with the one UFO. Question is, can we actually take it out? So, we're gonna go parking brake and uh, let's set this bad boy up. All right, so let's lift the missile. Oh boy, okay, is there a camera for this thing? Oh, hey. Hey, hold on, let's go down a little bit. That's a, it's pretty darn close, I would say. So we'll go a little above. Stuff tends to kind of arch over. So we'll go about to, oh, we're a little off target. Let's see just what this thing does first. I should probably do that before trying to use the target. So let's go W, oh, it's already loose. Okay, so that target was not the most accurate, but that is a fast missile. Whoa. That thing would punch that out of the sky. Let's give that another attempt. Okay, we're going to aim a little above this time. Let's go. There we go. Okay, we're going to get a better idea as to how far this thing can travel. Obviously, we're way off path again, but that's closer. That is a little bit closer. I know the uh, slow-mo does affect the, the physics a little bit, so i got to keep that in mind, but little bit up. I think we're going to be golden here. So let's let that one launch off. And we don't know where that's going to end up. We'll just kind of hope that it ends up in an area that uh, isn't too bad. So, all right, let's uh, reposition one more time. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead, launch. Let's go ahead, slow it down. Oh, that's close, folks. That is close. Oh, no. No, we missed it. I would say about maybe five feet. Oh, that is not good. Okay, well, we know we're in the correct position. We are there. We just got to go a little bit lower. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and launch. Oh, boy, I think we got it this time. I didn't know we can actually ride on board with that. Oh, that's going to be a direct hit with the missile. Yes! We got it. We got it. Woo! That was awesome. Oh, it's amazing that we shot that from way down there with just a actual rocket opposed to like a cannon or something. 
Oh, there goes another one of the UFOs down. Bob is saving the city once again, and oh, it's in flames. All right. There is one last UFO to go. Obviously, we've shot like, I don't know how many tries that took, probably about five or six. We wasted a lot of money. We need to find one more creation here to take out this UFO. All right, so who do you call in when you're having alien problems in a area that totally has no water around it? You call the Navy. This is by meh, and I'm not kidding, it's by meh. Uh, this is a battleship, which I think I might want to use this in multiplayer. This looks pretty cool. So this thing is loaded down with guns. It's a, it's a land battleship, and we are ready to blow that UFO out of the sky, so we need to probably do this with the front guns. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop here. All these guns do fire. It's got a different camera modes. Uh, let's do a test fire here. Oh, yep, indeed does work. Okay. Does that fire them all? I believe it does. Hold on, let's go out here. Let's see. It's just test fire. Okay, so cannons are one, and then guns are middle mouse. Okay, so where is that pesky UFO? Oh, that is in the sun. Oh, reposition. This is not a good position for the battleship. I cannot see. It would be really, really bad if we were to hit a building. All right, we are back in position here. Let's go ahead and spray it with a little bit of machine gun fire. See if we can knock it and weaken it up a little bit. Ah, uh, we are definitely hitting it. All right, we're going to do this. Let's go ahead and fire slow-mo. Oh, you can see the devastating, the cannon shots. They're heading for it. Boom. Wait, what? Huh? Oh, wow, that was really ineffective. We knocked off like a, like a shingle <laughs> or a, a little piece of glass like a bulb. What? Are you kidding me? Okay, we, we need to take another couple shots at this, I would assume. Okay, no slow-mo this time. Maybe that weakened it up. Let's go ahead and fire. Here we go. Boom. Oh, those, that thing is really strong. That is almost resistant to cannon fire. What in the heck? Okay, there goes a panel off of it. Uh, let's watch that again. Slow-mo. You know, I really, effect, I really thought this was going to do a lot more damage. Yeah, it's barely even knocking panels off. That is crazy. We're going to have to hit this at least like 20 or 30 times here to try to get this thing taken care of. We just really have to hit it right in its heart. If we could... Uh-oh. That was probably the hit I was looking for. Oh, yes. We caught it on fire. It is dropping. The last UFO is dropping. Whee! Boom. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's going to land on the garage, isn't it? Nope, nope. It's good. Good. We did it. We took out the UFO threat. Bob is amazing. And look at this. Minimal amount of damage. What, we lost one building in this whole attack? Uh, okay, two buildings in this whole attack. Could you believe that? Man. Uh, actually, you know what? I forgot. Uh, rest in peace, Bob HQ. Let's have, a, let's have a moment of silence here. You know, one thing I'm actually kind of a, a little afraid of, where did the big space worm go? It is back. The worm is back. Oh, let's, uh, let's see how much of the city this thing takes out in one hit. Boom! Oh, that is crazy. Oh, 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 that's not good for the city. It's definitely not good for the city. Oh, let's do another hit here. Let's go ahead. Oh, <laughs> Jeez! Oh, we're, we got like no frames right now. Oh, I'd slow it down. It is completely leveled. What? Wait. Where'd the city go? It levels so many buildings so quickly. It's so devastating. How in the heck is Bob supposed to stop that? There is nothing that can stop that. It just continues to move. It doesn't stop. Well, except maybe that tree. That tree might stop it. But other than that, how... Is Bob supposed to stop a beast like this? The beast just travels through the city, just absolutely obliterating it. Like, two passes basically destroys the whole city with this huge thing. Bob's got one plan, and Bob is going to take a lot of heart because this is going to be a fight that he is not prepared for. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is going to be great. All right, so Bob's about to have to do the unthinkable. He has a Kamaz truck. This is by Kroz. And yes, he is going to charge at the beast head on. That might be the only way to take it out. We are out of weapons here, so 
Uh, let's do this. Oh boy, here it comes. It's gonna come right at Bob here. It's gonna go right down the street. This is gonna be insane. Uh, I don't think Bob's ready for this. All right, here comes the beast. Here comes the, uh-oh. Oh, oh <laughs> what the? <laughs> hey. Hey. The, the beast ran into a building. Oh, <gasps> it ran into a garage. Everybody that plays Brick Rigs knows that you can't get through a garage. The beast took itself out. That is amazing. Bob wins. Bob won it. Bob did it. What the heck? Well, Bob really didn't do anything there at the end. Uh, the beast kind of crashed itself. Wow, that is a... Uh, where's the... Where's? Oh, that's probably the head right there because of the, uh, the little pink pieces. Um, That was impressive. Uh, that was rather impressive. Bob saved the day, even though Bob just kind of stood there. Uh, Wow. I don't know what to say. Like You, you can't really top that. Uh, we did... Uh, Oh, we somewhat saved the city. You know, it's not Bob's fault this time. You know, that was Aliens. Uh, he, he did a good job. And we saved a couple buildings. You can see them over here. These are these are in good shape. Oh, uh, boy. But anyways, I think that's going to about wrap it up for this episode here. Bob should definitely get a reward for that because that was uh, quite a bit of good fighting he did there against the Alien forces. So, yeah. If you guys have any suggestions for future Brick Riggs episodes, comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode here. Uh, if you did, maybe hit that thumbs up button. But yeah, be sure to check out the Creators Workshops for all the cool creations you saw here today. And hope you guys have a great day. We will see you guys next time in Brick Rigs.